Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hazelin. 안녕하세요, 즐린이에요. This is my home in Korea. <laughs> well, this place is just temporary. We didn't keep the contract long. It's just three months. I think we are going to stay here for three months, maximum six months. And the reason we are not making it so long is because we are quite unsure about so I'm a foreigner and Kumpu has left Korea for too long to be familiar with Korea. So we chose a safer option to have a shorter contract just in case something goes wrong. So I'm actually keeping everything very minimal. I didn't buy a lot of stuff. I only bought certain things that I really need. Everything is perfect in this house. It's very well maintained. The location is very centralized. It's located in Shincheon, which is very near my school. But when things are so good, it also means it's gonna cost a lot. <laughs> This place, uh, 보증금 is 200만원 and 월세 130만원 which is also considered low deposit and high rental. And in Korea, they have this thing where if you pay a higher deposit, you pay a lower rent. If you choose to pay a lower deposit, you have to pay a higher rent. In Korea, 130만원 for a one-room studio like this is considered very expensive. I know in Singapore, it costs more than this, but yes. 130만원 for this place is considered expensive here. So let me show you how an expensive one room looks like in Korea. Let's get started! Most of the house in Korea, they have this keypad lock system. The good thing is you don't have to carry your keys. So these days, I'm actually quite glad that I don't have to worry that I forgot about the key or something. We left our water here <laughs> because there's not much of space in the house. Usually when we deliver a parcel, we opt for like leaving outside of the house. So usually you will leave it here like this. <laughs> Nobody will steal them, so just leave it here. It's totally fine. You see that one over there? It's been there for a week since the day I came to Korea. Okay, so let's get inside. Welcome to my home. Temporary though. <laughs> so the moment you come inside, we have Kyungguan over here. They have this fire extinguisher here. We leave our shoes here usually. I use it as a recycle bag. On the other side here is the shoe rack. These are Gumpu's shoes and then my shoes. There is even a drawer here. You put something here, but we don't have anything. There is this door. Gumpu told me that this is for soundproof. So usually we keep it closed all the time. And then on my right, there is the kitchen. Very, very, very small. <laughs> Yeah, we got this pen. We have our supplements here. It's just very simple here. Yeah, very minimal. <laughs> we don't have any plate because we thought we're not gonna stay here for so long. We just buy something like all in one kind of stuff. Chick pan. It's kind of something that you see in the cafeteria, isn't it? Yeah, you can put your dishes here and then maybe soup here. We want to keep it simple and it's also very easy to wash. You just wash everything at once. <laughs> After I come to Korea, I learned so much about doing laundry. In Singapore, I just do anything with my laundry. I just put everything in and I just wash it. But in Korea, you have sometimes like wool during the winter. So yeah, I learned how to adjust. Like you can even adjust like how strong you like to have water, temperature. And then yeah, I learned so much about this. Gompu taught me. And then here, I have my Irban Sudagi Bong Tu here and some cleaning stuff. I left. There is my bathroom. Very, very, very small. <laughs> this is actually something that I was very surprised when I saw this, where the basin is inside the shower booth. It's kind of impossible to see in Malaysia and in Singapore, I guess. But I was surprised, but not too surprised because I have seen it in YouTube before. It's just like I am filming this video right now. Even if you are seeing this for the first time, you won't be so surprised anymore next time if you are seeing it in Korea. So there's one more thing that's very scary. If you look at this, this one is pointing here, which means the water comes from here. And if I switch it here, the water is gonna come from here. And then if I switch it to the left, the water is gonna come from here. We always remind each other to switch the tap here so that when sometimes we only wanna wash our hands, we don't accidentally turn it to like the shower and then just shoot it like now. I'm all ready to go out with makeup, my hair done. If the water just shoot it to my face, then I'm done. 
<laughs> and behind the mirror, there is also a storage space. Most of the things here belong to Gold Pool. This is mine, and then the hair dryer. This is a bag that I use as a laundry bag. So we leave our clothes here, and before we do laundry, we just separate our clothes in wool, non wool, underwear, non underwear. And here there is fridge, nothing much like eggs, chocolate, <laughs> Coke Zero. And then the freezer is over here. There is a lot of storage space here. These are Kompu's clothes. And then we have more storage space here. There is a laundry rack here. Usually it dries very quickly when we leave it like this and open the window because it's very cold now and the cold air dries it very quickly. This laundry rack is foldable. After I'm done, I just close it and then push this. This is like a drawer, just push it inside. And then more storage space. I kind of like this house because there are a lot of storage space. Even the house is very small. So me and Gumpu usually put the clothes that we have worn and want to wear again here. This one for outdoor and this one for indoor. There's also some storage space here. And then here there is a closet which Gumpu is using. One bad thing about this place is when I'm doing laundry, I cannot open this. <laughs> oh, and there's one more place as well that's quite inconvenient, which is here. See? There is a storage space here, just that I cannot open it if I'm doing laundry. And then here we have my cozy corner. I bought this carpet so that I can sit down because the floor is very cold sometimes. I usually sit down here like that. And I do my makeup here. I bought this mirror because we are in Korea. There's a lot of like clothes matching that we need to do. In Singapore and in Malaysia, it's so simple where I can just wear like summer clothes all the time, which is so easy to match, isn't it? Here, I need to match top, button, jacket, even scarf. There's so much clothes matching that I need to do. So yeah, I thought it is necessary to have a full length mirror here. This is already here before we moved in, but we got these chairs. I got a chair that is foldable so that I can move it easily. I can keep them like that as well if I like to. I can work and study here, but for meals, <laughs> I got this one. This is my dining table. I only bring this out whenever me and Gompu are having our meals together. So we just put our stuff here. So it's kind of like random stuff yeah, here as well. And this is Gompu stuff. These are all mine. I really want to have a storage box, but I try not to buy so many stuff. I'll buy as I live my life here, but for now, I just like to keep everything very minimal because I know I'm moving. And then we're gonna go up. This is a jacket that I'm going to wear later. This is where I sleep. This is just a mattress and blanket. So I cannot put a bed frame here because if I put it, I probably cannot even sit straight. <laughs> because this place, uh, the ceiling is very low. See, I'm standing up right now. I am 160 centimeter and this is the space that I have. So if I just slightly... Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't expect that! I gotta be careful. There is a, a bedside table here which is already here when we moved in. I don't really know what to do with it but so far I just put my stuff here. Here, plenty of space. I put my scarf here. Here, mostly my winter jacket, bags, beanies. Down there, my personal stuff, underwear, stockings. And then we got the last one here. These are all my winter clothes, pajamas. Still empty space over there. What do you think about my place? 130,000 won worth it. Let me know down there in the comments. I'll probably start looking for a new place in two months and I will show you my room hunting experience then. Alright, thank you so much for watching my video. I'll see you very, very, very soon.